Afro, Afro, Afro. Stylicity. Welcome back, y'all. Today, I'll be reviewing the Rad Rover Step Through Electric Fat Tire Bike. I recently posted a review on the Rad 4 Mini. If you haven't seen that video yet, you missed out on a great review. Feel free to check it out and let me know what you think. This step through e-bike though, ooh wait, it's not your regular e-bike. So I will start off by sharing some details on the bike and then after that, we'll get rad by going for a nice cruise. First off, this e-bike is a juggernaut. I mean, it says it on the tires, right? I'm so happy I got this bike. This is another type of e-bike that not only turns heads, it directly tells people, move, man, get out the way, get out the way, man, get out the way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, while they're being amazed at the size and the design of the e-bike. So in Texas, while driving on the road, you see huge trucks. I mean, huge trucks. So basically, this is like the huge truck of e-bikes. And the juggernaut tires, man, these tires are legit. I don't know what it is about these tires, but I just love these tires. So while cruising on the e-bike, you feel and sit much higher off the ground than your regular e-bike. You roll over things like it's nothing and you barely feel it while you hear whatever it is getting crushed like an acorn. You hear a little popping sound. Don't think because the bike is bulky, it is not fast, you would be dead wrong. This e-bike is fast, comfortable, sleek, and dependable. There's so much that I like about this e-bike that I can just keep going on and on for days. Off the bat, just looking at the bike, I just really like the bulky feel to it. I've taken it off-road, and the response off-road is on point. However, I'm not an off-road kind of guy, you know? There are a few people who reached out to find out what the fastest I've been on the Rad 4 Mini. And I'll go ahead and just give a quick update on the fastest I've been on the Rad 4 Mini and the fastest I've been on this bike. So basically, the fastest I've been on both rad bikes is around 24 to 25 miles an hour. Come on, man. I'm fast and furious. You know this. So now let's get into the nitty gritty by discussing tech specs. So bike size wise, the total length is 75 inches. The wheelbase is around 46 inches and the bike weight is around 71 pounds. The lights in the front are the standard rad power LED headlights with the rear being the integrated tail lights. So the rad step through comes with the Kenda Juggernaut tires, which are 26 inches by four inches wide, case shield, puncture resistant liner. I mean, you're sitting on 26 inch Juggernaut tires. You know, you're representing, represent. They're made from a layer of aramid and ceramic particles inside a tire under the thread. The Kenna K-Shield integrated tie liner is a line of defense designed to provide extra protection against punctures from thorns, glass, and other small materials. The brake calipers are Tektro Aries MD M300 and the brake rotors are Tektro that are 180 millimeters front and rear. The front suspension fork is a custom RST suspension fork that comes with a preload adjustment. So I love the Velo Plush seat. It has a different feel from the Rad4 Mini Velo Plush seat. It's very comfortable and adjustable to your height. And after going rad for over an hour, it still feels very, very comfortable. If you have seen my previous review on the Rad4 Mini, then you know exactly how much I like these front and rear fenders. I think that they help add an additional layer of protection, especially when rolling through wet floors. And it gives the bike a really sleek look. The shifter on this bike is a Shimano SL TX57R Thumb Shifter. Seven speed, which provides a wider range of gearing at your disposal, resulting in more torque for treacherous uphill climbs and maintenance of pedal authority at top speed. Motor-wise, this bike comes with a 750 watt Buffang geared hub motor, pushing out around 80 newton meters of torque to conquer hills and power through terrain. Going up steep inclines has not been a challenge for me with this bike, and it's pretty quiet as well. This type of experience isn't found on 
some of the most expensive mid-drive systems out there or your regular e-bikes that you easily just pick up from any corner of the street. So as you cruise, people definitely notice your rad bike is on a totally different class. The display comes with a backlit LCD with a charge indicator, speedometer, odometer, trip odometer, battery light gauge, pedal assist level indicator. The higher the number, the more the motor will boost you when you pedal. The odometer basically helps you calculate how many miles you didn't drive this year and how much money you saved on gas. <laughs> Essentially, the amount of miles you've ridden. I really like the handle grip on this bike. It's different from the Rad 4 Mini. The half twist grip throttle gives you 750 watts of power on demand. The battery is a 48 volts, 14 amp hours with lithium nickel manganese cobalt Samsung 35E cells rated for 800 charge cycles. It will definitely give you 25 to 45 plus miles per charge, which typically takes around five to six hours to fully charge the e-bike. This is equated to around three hours of rad time for me. So the charger that comes with the rad bike is a 48 volt, two amp rad power bike smart charger. And it operates on both 110 volt and 230 volt AC power outlets set in the controller at 48 volts and 750 watts. The cable management, just like the rad 4 mini is pristine with water resistant connectors and wiring harness along with a five volt, one amp USB port. So ultimately this rad bike comes with all the bells and the whistles.
Afro, Afro, Afro. Stylicity.